Whoa, I'm the Jacob Hall, and I've got a problem. So I have this, and I want it to look like this. So I'm gonna use this, the wall of eye, to snake this in the wall and hook these up so that this will no longer have a power cord dropping down and we're gonna go ahead and have this HDMI cable running so that the switch and the computer can show up on this screen. All right, you can see I've got my mess, I've got the wall about, and I've got my wire. So I'm running two different wires. I'm running this one and over out on the floor, all right, I'm running some power. So HDMI cable, I need to get that down to the floor, okay? So the HDMI cable is gonna to go to this low voltage and then the power is gonna to go to the power outlet. And what I'm having a problem with is because this wall depth is very shallow and there's styrofoam and I literally have this tiny cavity as I push this down and I need to know where to catch it. So let me show you how this is gonna work, right? So I will move over and you can see that's that stud that this bracket is in, okay? And then I will move back and there's nothing there, right? So then as I drop this HDMI cable down, so dropping the HDMI cable down, yep, okay, it appeared. All right, there it is. So if I move over now, I've got my stud. If I move back, I've got my wire. So what I'm gonna do is I marked on this cable and I am gonna drop this down. You can see it's detecting the wire. And then I'm gonna go up down to the floor and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna grab my snake and I'm gonna push it over and I'm gonna see where this appears to know that I'm down far enough, which I am. Okay, so now I can take this off the wall, grab my snake and I don't have a lot of space Okay, so oh, the wire's moving, you can see. Ha, huh, and now, oh. So obviously that's the wire I'm working on and that's the wire I needed. So now I just gotta do the same thing over again for the power. And this one, I have to get it through a hole that is right here. So what I'm gonna end up trying to do is finding this stud. Basically, there's the wire going to this outlet already. And I now need to come here and find another wire to appear on this screen. And then I'll know I'm in the right spot. All right, I decided to go up this time. Now, when you go up, it could certainly curl. But what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna make sure my path, you can see my screen. Oh, okay, so I'm literally tracking it, as you could see how it appears on the screen. So now what I will do is basically just forward it up there. And as I run it up the wall, I will make sure that I'm still there. And then when it disappears, I know that it's either curled or I just need to keep running it longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand up <laughs> and see if I can push this up. We'll see how lucky I'm going to get. And of course, if this starts running horizontal, we'll know that I'm curling. Okay, I'm a few feet up, and if you check the screen, you can see wire. And if I wiggle this one, you'll notice it's not moving, which means that's where I'm at. So now I basically go left and right and I don't detect it, which means that is about the height that I'm at. So I need to just keep pushing it up. See that? Now look at my fingers. Oh yes. So pushed it up the wall, moved this. Every time I moved it, I would go up until it stopped detecting it, go back down, find it, push it up a little bit more. I was able to just basically persuade it that way instead of it hitting a wall and curling. So now all I have to do is throw the box in, which I'm doing for the 110. And uh... all right, 
Well, the TV was already hung, but if you come and look around here, you can see we've got the wires off the wall. I've got the HDMI run as well so that she can hook this up to a computer or her Nintendo Switch. I've also got the power in the wall, which yes, could you do it? Yes, for probably thousands of years, people have been running wires without you know, extra help, but I was able to find the existing wire in the wall. I was able to verify that it was going up and not hitting any fire block. I was able to see where it was in the wall, both the low voltage wire and the 110. So did it help me out? Immensely. I was able to safely run the wire, see where the wire was running. And now we've got a nice looking wire free wall, much better. And uh, yeah, I'd say it saved me a ton of time. Thanks for uh, watching. I am the Jacob Alt. This is the Wall of Up DIY 2. And you guys have a good one.